Uh, oh, uh-uh. Mm, that's a devil right there, the devil. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Shayla, if this is your first time here, and yes, we switched it up a little bit. Instead of doing the plain white backdrop, I added a little table back there with some books, some flowers, there's a candle there. It's actually on, and I think I'm comfortable with having a camera, camera? <laughs> with ha having a candle lit when my hair is short. You know, I feel like there's no danger there, but as soon as I switch my wig up and I have the inches, no. No, the candle will not be on, okay? So we're just gonna play around with this backdrop. I think it's kinda cute, it's a little different. Okay, so in this video, we are gonna be doing a full face, super glam, photo ready, red carpet ready, season 12 reunion ready type of look. So a few weeks ago, I went to Makeup by Ariel's. I'm like, was it a few weeks ago? I don't know. Yeah, it was like a month ago, I went to Makeup by Ariel's masterclass. And there's a couple techniques that he taught me and I've been using it and it has made the biggest difference. I feel like my makeup recently has been looking pretty, pretty good. So I'm gonna be sharing some of those tips with you along with just like tips to make your makeup look better. <laughs> you know, there's so many trends that are no longer, I don't wanna say needed, but there's a few things that people do and I'm like, we don't need to do that anymore. So in this video, we are just gonna do a refresher of a very glam makeup look. I feel like I need like a picture back there or something else. I don't know, we're gonna figure it out. I have a neon sign. You guys have probably seen like every YouTuber on earth has one of those neon signs <laughs> with their name on it. So maybe I'll put that back there, I got one of those. Um, okay, so we're gonna start with the Marc Jacobs Undercover Primer. This is really good for like combination skin. So I'm just gonna put this right up in here. I'm not gonna put it like all the way under my eye because I feel like it kind of makes it too dry. My under eyes are kind of dry lately. Well, it's winter, so that kind of explains it. All right, next I'm gonna color correct. You guys have seen me do this a couple times. This is Live Tinted Rise Corrector. There's a couple that I use, but this is just what it is right now. So I'm putting this here. Okay, around my mouth, under my eyes. I usually only do this if I know I'm gonna be taking pictures. So you don't have to do this every day, unless you have like really, you know, bad dark circles or dark spots you wanna get rid of. Okay, I'm gonna use two of almost everything. <laughs> Seems like a lot, but when you wanna get glam, you want that season 10 reunion beat. Okay, some of y'all might not know what season 10 is, but you gonna learn. Um, you know, you gotta use a couple, you gotta use more than the everyday look. Okay, so this is Makeup Forever. Oh my God, this is not Makeup Forever. This is Hourglass and it's called Teak, T-E-A-K. So I'm just gonna put this under the eye. This is a concealer. Uh, I think it's a new one too, around the lips because if I just blend this in, the orange color, it might be too, like aggressive for me. So we're just gonna use a concealer to kind of dilute the orange shade. And another reason I do this, I think, cause the darkness under my eyes isn't that bad, so I don't need it to be like bright orange. Let me see what's going on here. I need this mirror up in here, okay. And it's so weird because when I don't have makeup on, like I don't really notice darkness. It's not until I put foundation on and like I take a picture, I'm like, ooh, there's a little dark spot right there. So that's why I color correct. All right, next I'm gonna apply the Double Wear in five, I use this every day. I'm like, wait, what color is it? 5W 1.5 in Caracas by NARS, one's more dewy, one's more matte. When I mix them, I feel like I just get like the perfect combination. So I just have a little mirror here, mix them together, and we're gonna apply this all over. Dang, do I need to take out my, my earrings? What's going on here? And I use this to mix it because I don't like putting makeup on the back of my hand. Like, I just feel like my clumsy butt. <laughs> no, 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 no. Cause you know what'll happen? It'll end up all over my shirt, everywhere now. I'm even like cautious with these long sleeve Shirts now, I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna get makeup on it. Cause that's just what I do, I am clumsy. Okay, we gotta take these earrings off because <laughs> it's just in the, in the way. Okay, so you just wanna make sure that your face looks nice and even. If you feel like you need more coverage, then just add more foundation. Just keep building, building, building. All right, so I'm gonna, what we gonna do? Okay, I'm gonna mix, yes. I know, I'm gonna mix uh, Makeup Forever number 42. This is like, uh, in the color correcting family. I think it's more of like a peachy shade. I'm gonna mix this with my Dose of Colors concealer, which is like the right, I guess it's like the right color for my skin tone. 
So I'm just gonna put a little bit here. And then Dose of Colors, we're gonna put a little bit here. This is number 22. This is what I usually use. Okay, and then I'm just gonna get my little beauty blender, mix these, and then use this under my eye. When I went to Makeup by Ariel's Masterclass, he used a brush to put the concealer on and then blended it in. That's just like one extra brush for me to clean. I do not have time, you know, like. Mm -mm. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm bringing the concealer all the way to the side of my nose. So I'm pinching the Beauty Blender like this so I can get it in there and really just applying it on the side so that my skin is the natural contour on the nose. You guys see it? I think you can kind of see like a soft line here. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the 42, which is kind of lighter on the center of my nose. It is so hard putting concealer on into a monitor. <laughs> Looking into a monitor. Hold up. Ooh, there it is. So you guys can see the shape right there. I'm just adding more to kind of emphasize the contour. And as you can see, I'm not going as light as I used to go in like previous years with my concealer. Um, I just don't think that's like necessary anymore. I see some people who will put like, it's almost white. And I used to do that. <laughs> okay, I used to do that, but we don't need to be doing that anymore. Period. I'm gonna put a little bit, not put, but blend this out. Blend this bad boy out all up on the, this is why I do my foundation first because I feel like I get foundation all over my brows. It just kind of gets everywhere. Yeah, we're just gonna leave that there. Oh yes, come on. Come on now. Okay, one thing, every makeup artist that I've seen do makeup either on myself or someone else during a class, whatever, they always use multiple products. That's why I used to be using two foundations. You can, it's just like, they really customize it to your skin tone. So Makeup Forever has, what is this? Velvet Matte, I wanna get the name right. Matte Velvet Skin Powder Foundation. Um, you guys, if there's one thing you take from this video, okay, this ish right here is bomb. So this is more golden. This looks a little bit more peachy, even though it says it's a golden undertone. So this is Y415 and then Y405, right? Yeah, Y405. So what I'm gonna do is grab a beauty blender or, ooh, is this kind of wet? I just washed this. No, it's fine. This is Dose of Color sponge, so any sponge, and I'm just gonna mix the two. Boom, 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 boom. And then I'm gonna grab the sponge and I'm just gonna set under the eye, do this side. And I'm doing kind of the same thing I did with the concealer where I'm bringing it all the way up to the side of my nose. Ooh, see, ooh, look at that. You can see the nose contour, see that? So depending on like how you want your nose to look, um, you can make, you know, the highlight thinner or bigger or whatever. Also put a little bit of powder on the forehead. Because it's winter, I'm a little bit more dry, so I'm not gonna bake as long as I usually do. So I'm gonna start the bake like, Maybe after I do the brows. All right, I'm gonna fill in my brows with Kylie's dark brown brow powder. I use the light color first, and I just start at the base of my brow and just fill them on in. I have really just naturally thick brows, so powder is fine for me. Some people like to use a pencil or like a pomade. I go through my pomade phases, but I like how powder just looks a little bit lighter, you know, not as like harsh. Oh my God, my hairs are so wild sometimes, like I cannot control it at all. Okay, see how light and just like natural the hair looks? So I'm gonna go in with a darker shade from the duo and I'm not gonna fill it in too heavy right here because you want this to look kind of lighter, this part of the eye. So I'm just gonna draw a line underneath, boom, 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 and then fill in the outside of the brow, the end of the brow. I like a soft brow. I don't like mean brows, you know, those harsh, mean brows, no. All right, brows are done. I put a little bit of concealer all over my lid to just kind of clean up under the brow, and I like using concealer as a base. Now I'm gonna start the baking. Ooh, this is Fenty Cashew Setting Powder. I'm gonna use the same sponge. Um, you could use a powder puff like this, but we're gonna use a sponge, just switch it up. Wait, okay, dip in there. I actually like to work off the lid, and I'm just gonna set Make sure y'all can see me. The under eye. Close your mouth. <laughs> I always do that. I'm always like, Ugh. like you guys do not need to see inside of my mouth, okay? And again, same thing, bringing it all the way to the side of the nose here. See, that's I think one of the reasons why I stopped using sponges because I feel like it absorbs a 
lot, like even powder. Oh, there it is. The last part I'm gonna bake is my nose. So I'm just gonna put a little bit down the center of the nose here. You want your nose to be pretty like, you know, straight. So see how it just looks kind of messy. I'm just gonna use a flat brush and clean up the sides. When I clean it up, have your brush kind of meet up with the brow. You see that? So you kind of know the direction and the shape it should be. You could even start at the brow like this and kind of, you know, strain it out, clean it up. Should I put bronzer on now? What do I do? What do I do? Yeah, we're gonna put a little bit of bronzer on and then later I'll probably add some more. I love bronzer, it gives you like that really just pretty contour. Okay, new bronzer alert. This is from Jouer, which typically, their bronzers don't work for my skin tone, like ever, like not one. So when I saw this, I was like, Ugh. I got really excited because like finally, I feel like they still need one more, oops, darker like set. I think this is called deep dark, deep to dark bronzer duo, yeah. They still need one that's darker. So I'm gonna grab the lightest shade from this duo and we're just gonna apply this on the cheeks. I'm using a Smashbox, Smashbox, -er. like I can't even talk today. I don't even know what brush this is, but this is what it looks like. And I'm kind of working in circular motions here because you don't want that like really defined moment. That's what I learned in the master class. You kind of want it to look like blended. Um, Makeup by Ariel kind of went like this a lot. That doesn't work for me, so I just go like this. <laughs> mm, see that? Yes. Take me where I need to go. Oh, I kind of went ham on this side. <laughs> It's okay though, it looks good on camera. <laughs> Little bit on the jawline. And then on the hairline here, I'm just gonna kind of like blot it. Are you guys like learning a lot right now? Tell me, tell me in the comments. Like tutorials like this where I'm kind of like going into depth, if this helps you or not. Cause I really just want you guys to like learn how to do makeup really well. All right, we are gonna use a brand new palette from Dominique Cosmetics. This is called Latte 2, there was a Latte 1. Remember, I like all of her palettes. I feel like they're just, they're just really nice. That's my nail, my nail went into the powder, so it doesn't come like that. Um, I do wish, the only thing I wish was that one of these was like a little lighter, because they're so similar. You know what I mean? Like I wish one was like a hair lighter, but that's okay. I'm gonna use this orange, yellow, mustardy color in the crease first. I actually haven't used this yet. This, wait, ooh, where's it at? This one yet, so let's see how it looks. Okay, let's see what it does. So I'm using my Sigma fluffy brush and we're just gonna blend this in the crease. It's probably gonna be like my skin tone. Yeah, just a little bit warmer, which is fine. All right, we're gonna switch to a smaller brush. This is Sigma E27 and I'm gonna dip into, I think we're gonna do a cafecito, this one right here. And I'm just gonna draw kind of like a line in the shape that I want my crease. And instead of bringing this down like this, I'm just gonna apply it right into like the eyebrow right there. And then let's start to blend her out. See where this takes us here. What are y'all doing Super Bowl weekend? I know some of you guys do not care. <laughs> I'm going up to the Bay Area, not because I'm a Niners fan. I mean, I support all California teams, period. But it's my cousin's baby shower, so we're gonna go up there for like a day. <laughs> and then we're gonna come home for the Super Bowl. I love, like a lot of you guys don't know this, but I really do love watching sports. Even if I'm not keeping up with like the score, <laughs> I do like watching it. So right now there isn't a lot of product left on the brush. I'm just kind of going back and forth. And as I go back and forth, I'm kind of going up, blending upward like this. Some people do kind of like circular motions which you could always do, like really lightly touch the skin. All right, now I'm not gonna do cut crease because uh, we're, we're over it. We are over cut creases. We are just gonna have like a blended look. So I'm gonna use Drizzle, this light kind of gold color here, and I'm gonna put this all over the lid. I might put a lighter color right in the, the inside there, but I love this shade. Ooh. All right, now I'm gonna grab Coffee Bean, which is, it looks darker in person, but I think it's just not as red. And I'm using like a little smudge brush from Smashbox. And I'm just gonna press this on the outside 
of the lid here. I'm gonna blend it in with the bronzy drizzle shade. Yeah, we like that. And then I'm gonna go back with this brush and just barely dip it in the color and kind of just like blend blend it a little bit. See, I love that. Like, I, I love this type of look. Like, see how like you can kind of see the definition in the crease, but it's not a cut crease. I feel like this type of look photographs better. It just looks, it just looks better in my opinion. All right, I'm gonna wipe the bake off because I just feel like it's time. Not on my nose, but just under here. Like I was telling you guys, I feel like my eyes have just been like, my skin is just a little bit more dry than normal. So I don't like to bake too long. We're gonna keep the nose on because <laughs> Do you guys see me? I just stopped in the middle of what I was doing and I said, <laughs> we're gonna keep the nose on because that can bake for as long as we need it to. Okay, snatch that nose right up. Here, um, I'm just gonna put that dark shadow under my lash line. Should we do a pencil first? Yes. All right, I'm gonna line with Marc Jacobs Earthquick. I think this is like a matte brown. Wait, no, it's called Highliner Matte Gel Eye Cream. So we're gonna line the inside of the waterline. Make sure I'm not blocking you guys on the bottom. And I like using like a chocolate brown because I feel like it's dramatic, but it's not like harsh. Like when you look at my eye, it's not gonna look like, oh, black liner, brown eyeshadow, boom, no. I always put it under the lash line too. All right, now I'm just gonna grab my angled brush and press the shadow into the liner just to kind of set it, lock it in place. And then I'm gonna grab my little smudge brush again, dip it into coffee bean and kind of smudge the shadow a little bit. Just because I like a smudge look, you could keep it just like this, you know? Um, but I'm just gonna lightly smudge the corner a little bit. All right, I'm gonna line with Melt Cosmetics Immortal Gel Liner. This is like a really dark black. I've been loving it. I'm not gonna wing out the liner just cause I feel like the overall look is pretty like smudged, you know? So I'm just gonna make the liner a little thicker on the outside here and then work my way to the inside, making it just like a little thinner, mainly cause like, yeah, my eyes are big, but my lid isn't that big. So I like my liner to be kind of thin. All right, then on the corner here, you're gonna grab your smudge brush and you're just gonna smudge the edge of the liner. So it looks like it just disappears into your shadow. Like you don't wanna see like a stopping point. Just let it, let it disappear. All right, I'm gonna put on my Lily Miami Lash, which I've, re I've used these one time. I used them yesterday, so I'm reusing them. Lately, I haven't been reusing my lashes because I've been putting a lot of mascara on them, but these, I was like, oh, I think I could reuse them. And right now I'm just getting like the, the curler and uncurling them because these are pretty curly. So I like them to be like a little bit more straight. So when I put them on, I can curl after and they look really kind of like wispy and really good. All right, so Miami, wait, is this the right eye? Yeah, we'll just do this. See, that's why I don't reuse them. Sometimes you put the wrong one on the wrong eye, kind of molds to your eye shape once you wear them. Make sure they're secure. Cause I'm gonna, as soon as the glue dries, I'm gonna curl my lash with the false lash. I'm gonna grab my velvet powder from Makeup Forever in Y455. And I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier powder puff. I'm gonna use this to set my makeup. So remember I used to do this with a setting powder with the Fenty setting powder. Now I'm using a pressed powder foundation and we're gonna go over the bronzer and it makes your skin look so smooth. I'm also gonna put it on my forehead. Oh yes. Tell me you guys don't see that difference. Like, okay. I know y'all see it. Cause I see it. Everything is nice. See how like it kind of blends the bronzer in also. I'm still gonna add more bronzer, but you know, it looks very blended. I look matte. I look like I'm just like ready for the red carpet or a photo, honey. Take my photo. I'm ready. All right, I'm gonna wipe off the nose bake. Boom, what else? What are we gonna do? Do I need more bronzer? I almost feel like this is the same brush that I used the bronzer on. I didn't dip in it. I'm just like adding whatever's left over. Yeah, I don't think we need more bronzer, but you could add more bronzer if you wanted to. Okay, so let's highlight the skin. I'm gonna use Jaclyn Cosmetics Mega Wide. Dip in here. I'm just gonna use a little bit because this highlighter is pretty, it can get really highlightery. <laughs> Highlightery, we're just making up words. All right, let's put some blush on. This is KKW Blush Palette, Matte Blush Palette. 
Um, I really love these two colors right here. I kind of just mix them. This one's too light. There's always one that's too light. So I'm just gonna mix these two just like so. Okay. And then we're gonna apply this on the cheek. I'm trying to apply it higher than normal. So typically I feel like it would go here and I'd go like this. No, put it up here. That's what I learned. So there's so many shades of blush that I feel like when I look at it, I'm like, ooh, that's not gonna show up. But a lot of times it'll show up and it'll just be like this perfect tone. Like see how like this adds color, but it's not like, whoa, you've got a lot of blush on, which sometimes I do that. Sometimes I like that look too. Okay, to be honest, yes, I love how this looks. If you're a little bit darker than me, I feel like this is, this may be the only color that shows up. Cause this, like when I put a lot on, I'm like, Okay, I can't go too crazy with this or else it'll start to look like ashy. So just a little FYI, like I'm loving this, but with that kind of pink shade, if I were to keep going, it would have started to get like bad. I feel it, but this looks bomb, bomb. All right, should we set? Yeah, let's set the makeup. Wow, this looks really good. Like I did a good job today. Okay, <laughs> sometimes you just gotta give yourself props. You know, this is an all nighter setting spray from Urban Decay. At everything what do you guys think like do you notice a difference does my makeup look different tell me because you know sometimes I'll be doing stuff and I'm like oh it looks so different looks so good and it might not be noticeable <laughs> to other people but I feel like it looks really good all right now I'm gonna just curl my false lashes into my natural lash so you just got to make sure your natural lash is all up in there with the false lash curl it hold and boom Boom. See what happened there? They just they got real aggressive. This look is just in time for you guys. We're thawing and bopping through Miami this weekend. That's all I'm gonna say. Cause I know some of y'all are going to the club. Okay. Trying to meet people. Y'all are gonna be out in the streets. Uh, this is Buxom Extrovert Mascara. So I'm just putting a little bit at the base of my lash because I really just want to get it on my natural lash. This kind of blends your lash in with the falsies. Hmm. Every time I have nowhere to go and I want to film, makeup wants to turn out good. When I go somewhere, does it turn out good? Mm. It's okay. You know, I really did like put in max effort on this look like. You can tell, I need to do this more often. Sometimes I just be rushing, you know what I mean? Like I'm like, Ugh. I don't have time to be doing like a super detailed crease. Let me just do this, put some lashes on and I'm out the dough. Like we don't have time, you know? But this look, when you have time, this is what this is, okay? I should call this when you have time makeup tutorial. <laughs> See the brown, how like brown liner looks with a brown shadow. It's real cute. Ooh. All right, we're gonna finish off the look with you guys already know. Say it, just say it out loud, okay? ColourPop BFF3 lip liner. I might also use four because that combo is just like the best thing on earth. It's good, like, it's really good. So BFF3 lip liner, line the lips. This is like a nude for me. See that? Mm-hmm. All right, I wanna try something different. I feel like I always say that. No, but really, I never use crayons. So this is Bite Beauty. Um, what is it? Amaretto. I was about to say armadillo. <laughs> Amaretto. Let's see how this looks. I don't even know. Oh yeah, I had a feeling. I had a feeling it would be good. So this is like, almost like my skin tone. Mm. Oh no, it's a little more pink in person. Okay, now I'm gonna go through and lightly line with BFF4. I'm just gonna line on top here and then the bottom. All right, I'm gonna finish this look with Sweet Talk from Bobbi Brown. My biggest thing with gloss, like I hate when like you put it on and there's not a lot of product on the brush. Like, I don't want you, I don't want to scrape off my lipstick. You know what I mean? So look at, ooh, yeah, just gloss. It's sheer and just like, ooh, gloss air. Mm. Ooh. You know, I like it when it doesn't disrupt the lipstick underneath and the lip liner and the lighter lip liner. Her. <laughs> All right, guys, here is the finished look. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like, do you see a difference with the new techniques, the new products? I'm like all excited because I feel like looking in the monitor, I see a huge difference. Like I feel like my skin looks like softer almost. I don't know, I'm just really feeling hmm, everything about this. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you guys have a great weekend. It's Super Bowl weekend, have fun. 
live your best life. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And last but not least, shred and slay.